Now let's go back to John 5, because now I'm going to what John 5 says, and it shows okay. that your pawn is from hell. Okay. Go to John 5, 19. Read that for me. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the father do. For okay, wait. Things well, hold on, wait, 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 wait. The son can do nothing of himself, but only what he sees the father do. Do you agree that Jesus is God's son who does whatever the father does? From this, I can imply the son can do nothing of himself. No, no, then that's, that's not my question. Let me try it again because I know you want to run. Do you agree no, with no, no, no. that he's the son that does whatever the father does? Uh, no. Read it now, the full verse, because you just buried Muhammad because you said you don't agree with that. Now read the full verse. Read the next part. Uh, for uh, Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth, seeth the father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. Okay. Do you agree that Jesus does everything the father does the way the father does it? Uh, this this concept is a little baffling for me. No. Do you agree what you read? You quoted John 5.30. I'm giving you the context. Jesus just said, yeah. I can only do what the father does. And whatever the father does, I do it the way he does it. Can a prophet say, could your prophet say, I only do, do what Allah does. That's all I can do. And whatever Allah does, I do. No, we can't. But say. that's what Jesus said. But, uh, okay, so um, I understand that uh, uh, they're trying to imply that um, Jesus can do what the Father does. But uh, let, Everything let me... the Father does, the way the Father does it, such as raise the dead. Read now, read John 5, 21. For as the Father raised uh, raise, uh, raise up the dead and the quickened them, even so the Son quickened whom he will. Okay, so he will. just like the Father raises the dead and quickens them, meaning gives them life, the Son who can only do what the Father does and everything the Father does, he gives life to whom he wills. But it's going to get worse for you. Before you ask, because I'm going to show you, your Quran stole the words of Jesus. John 5, 25. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And they shall hear, uh, and they, uh, they that hear shall live. Okay, wait. Whose voice are they going to hear? The Son of God. Which you don't believe he's the Son of God. And when they hear his voice, he's going to make them alive? And they shall hear, uh, and they should that hear, uh, shall live. Yeah. Okay, and the hour, right? Yes. Now read 28 and 29. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that uh, are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They have uh, they that have done they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the res resurrection of damnation. Okay, now whose voice are they going to hear at the hour? Uh, the son, the son of God. Okay, and when they hear his voice at the hour, they're going to come out of their graves, right? Yeah. So it, this uh, is Yom Qiyamah, right? Yeah. Okay, now go to your Quran, chapter 22, 6 and 7. That is because Allah, he is the truth, and it is he who gives life to the dead, and it is he who is able to do all things. And surely the hour is coming, there's no doubt about it, and certainly Allah will resurrect those things, those uh, who are in the graves. And among wait, men... Wait, yeah. wait, your Quran says, at the hour, Allah will resurrect the dead from their graves, and he gives them life. Yeah. But Jesus said, he, the son of God, will resurrect them from their graves and give them life at the hour. But let me ask you this question. Did Jesus Don't ask really me that say before that? you ask, do you now agree your Quran just confirmed Jesus claimed what your prophet said only God can do? Uh, could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? You just read the Quran. It says Allah is the truth. He gives life to the dead. Yes. And the hour is coming and have no doubt about it. Hmm. Allah will raise them from their graves. But yes. in John 5, 21... And John 5, 25, John 5, 28 to 29, you just read Jesus saying, I, the Son of God, at that hour will give life to those in the graves and raise them out of their graves. Something that the Quran says only Allah does. So why did Jesus say this? So it's conflicting. So uh, let, let me ask you. What? Wait, conflicting with what? Conflicting. Uh, so there's two opinions, uh, two, two varying opinions. One is saying that Allah will um, uh, bring people out of the graves. And the other one is saying that Jesus... The yeah, son of but God your Quran doesn't to... matter. It comes 600 years later. We don't give a damn about your Quran. What I'm saying is John 5.30, which you quoted, which you didn't read. Your Quran admits that what Jesus said, only God can say. Can a prophet yeah. say like Jesus, the hour is coming where they will hear my voice at that hour and I will raise them from the graves. No, I don't think any prophet can say that. But Jesus said it. According to the Quran, did Jesus claim what only God can do? Mm, yes, Jesus oh. is claiming what only God. Only can. so then now you see why but you don't by, trust by, Akronaik. You don't trust Akronaik. He's a liar, like your prophet.